Can't commend you enough on that. Um, he says, um, he says, hi guys, awesome topic. What do you do when you have a drop in a certain spot? It's driving me crazy. I've adjusted the antenna, but I didn't, but it didn't do any good. So by drop, he's talking about uh, with like one of the wireless handhelds um, or the yeah. like the pastor's wireless mic. How, how do we fix that stuff, yeah. Curtis? So frequency drops are just a nightmare. We have mm -hmm. a spot in one of, in, not in our sanctuary, but in an area we call our upper room that um, right in front of the stage, right where I like to talk, um, our handhelds drop and it's so frustrating. Um, so the, the best way, and you may have tried some different things, obviously moving the antennas around, there's a couple of different things to consider. One is what kind of antennas you have. So say you're running a sure wireless unit and it's got two little antennas on the back. Where are those sitting? Are they under the desk or on top? Um, so you're trying to move them. Anytime you set antennas, never set them straight up and down, always at angles because it puts them in multiple planes that way. Mm -hmm. That can help. But um, there's also uh, two other really viable options that I highly recommend. The best option is actually to relocate your receiver to the stage. Uh, if you came up to our church right now, you would find our wireless receivers in a rack on the edge of our stage uh, so that the microphones are 20 feet away from them. Uh, it really helps with the dropouts to get your, your antennas that close and you're also changing your angle. Um, and so that, that's one of the things I recommend. It doesn't really cost anything. Uh, but you do have to have some place to put it. Um, remember, you always want your antennas to be exposed. They're designed to have line of sight to the microphone. So if your antenna has anything blocking it, mm -hmm. sure is going to tell you it's your fault. Okay. They say you're supposed to have line of sight. Um, there's also the ability with most newer units to change the frequency of the microphone. Um, most units have a search feature that allows them to look for frequencies that aren't in use. So to use that, you need to have everything in your room that's normally powered up that could have any wireless interference, other mics, any of that kind of thing, then have it search for an open frequency that's not in use. Uh, that can help as well. And that'll, that'll block out some things. The other option is um, a more expensive option, and that is antenna distribution and paddle antennas that can add... Uh, an antenna unit to your Sennheisers or your Shures or whatever that'll normally have, depends on who makes them, big paddle antennas. You've probably seen them at concerts and says Shure on them and stuff like that. Much more surface area for receiving, much stronger, um, and that can help too. And you can run those from your booth um, and you can really kind of fine tune with those. Um, they're very beneficial, but um, those are kind of the options I would recommend for dropouts on your